So let's take an actual look at where these justifications for these lockdowns and social distancing policies are coming from, right? This is what the media, again, should have done. They should have looked into this information and scrutinized it and picked it apart. So yeah, we have the medical school for the University of Michigan, in which they explained that this study that they conducted, along with others that supported our conclusions, became the basis for the CDC's pandemic response guidelines. So it's imperative that we know about this, right? Let's take a closer look. Called non-pharmaceutical interventions implemented by U.S. cities during the 1918-1919 influenza pandemic. And if you read, in this publication, in their own study, they acknowledge that even the most rigorous non-pharmaceutical interventions are unlikely either to prevent a pandemic or change a population's underlying biological susceptibility to the pandemic virus. So they, right away, they acknowledge it. However, a growing body of, and what's the key term there, boys and girls? Theoretical modeling research. Theoretical modeling, which is a poor substitute for concrete science. So we have this theoretical modeling, a lot of the theoretical modeling, as to why social distancing works. Theory, and then all of that science I just shared you with, concrete, evidence-based science. Evidence, theory. And instead, the authorities are going with the theory over the evidence. Think about that. Without interventions, one model predicts that COVID-19 could kill 40 million this year. You'll notice our underlying model over there, because this is a mathematical model. A theoretical mathematical model, which is a very poor substitute for concrete science, guys. And with something that they didn't mention in the headlines, because they know nobody's actually reading most of these articles, is that this report was never published in a scientific journal and it wasn't peer-reviewed. Think about that. This was used to justify lockdowns all around the world and it was never even published in a scientific journal or peer-reviewed. It's mind-blowing. The, the turning point did seem to be that inter Imperial College report. What was your impression of that paper? Um, I think it's not very good. The paper was never published scientifically. It's not peer-reviewed, which a scientific paper should be. It's just an internal departmental report from Imperial. And it's fascinating. I don't think any other scientific endeavor has made such an impression on the world as that rather uh, debatable paper. Well, since that time, other researchers, other scientists have looked into this study, this mathematical, ridiculous study, and they claim that it's totally unreliable and it's impossible to read. These scenarios of 40 million deaths in the world and uh, 2 plus million deaths in, in the U.S. Uh, by doing nothing are, are science fiction. Are science fiction. Are science fiction. Are science fiction.